asking my people today we've got a video called black pink light up the sky a documentary now i just want to read this real quick description of it it's a film directed by caroline su that tells the story of a south korean girl group blackpink as bandmates and as individuals and details their rise to fame a lot of you have been requesting this part of uh of blackpink since I, this is going to help me a lot with my knowledge of the girls so we're gonna hop right into this video i think i'm gonna split it up in like five parts you guys let me know how long you guys want me to do the seating i, I think i'm gonna do like 24 minutes each seating i don't know we're gonna see but let's hop straight into the video but real quick before we get into the video if you enjoyed this video at the end just make sure you hit that like button really helps me out and if you want to see my future reactions which is all for free bro you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button but that's only if you enjoy my content as well in the future let me know should i keep the english cc on in the the documentary in my pre, in my part two three four five etc i'm gonna keep it on for this part though but you guys let me know but let's hop straight into this black pink light up the sky i believe light up the sky is a reference from uh i think it was kill this love you know light up the sky oh no it's how you like that how you like that it was in that track light up the sky I enjoy these long videos, bro. <laughs> I do, for real. This is when they started. Their debut tracks. Bombaya and Whistle. I love it. 바로 YG에서 7년 만에 선보이는 신인 그룹이 데뷔하는 날입니다. 블랙핑크를 소개합니다. Did it, did it. Just a real quick question um the the content in this video is this like recorded after it and like like did they re re re, re recreate uh the the past or did they record as the past and then like they knew they were going to make a documentary in the future let me know if you know <laughs> Our next guests are the best charting female Korean group of all time. Wildly popular K pop group. K pop sensations, Blackpink! Blackpink has become the highest charting K pop girl group ever. They also made history as they became the first K pop girl group to perform at Coachella. Oh, Dad, a lot of you requested I should react to the Coachella performances. Let me know in the comments, please. A link if you can. I don't know if YouTube removes the links or just let me know which song I should react to by the Co Co Coachella performances, though. Just let me know. Performing live for the first time ever on US television, here is Blackpink. 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 Yo. Okay, so this is South Korea, capital. I'm so hungry. Are you? Yeah. Did I, I eat something to today? No. There's a dessert. It's like a dessert. frog song with the injury me. Hey. You guys don't like injury me? It tastes really good. <laughs> it says the Thai girl in the car. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what it is, but like Rosie's accent, bro, the, the Australian accent is just super fire. It says the Thai in the car. Enjoy me. Hey. You guys don't like enjoy me? It tastes really good. <laughs> it says the Thai girl in the car. <laughs> Every time when the album <clears throat> comes, we're just excited. We're like, huh. Yay! <laughs> Finally, one more. You know, I think we're like halfway there. Maybe we're always halfway there. We're like we have the songs there. We just need to record it. 이렇게 많은 분들이 저희 노래를 좋아해 주시고 이런 걸 보니까 
더 자신 있게 새로운 모습이랑 더 다양한 거를 도전해보고 싶은 마음이 더큰것 같아요. 막. It's time for us to do some music. Yeah. We just have so much to show people. I don't think we've done something really, really girly yet. Mm. So we've practiced and explored so many different things um, during our trainee days. Um, so it's just you know, a matter of how much of that we could you know, end up showing show as black. Yo, this girl's accent, bro. Pink. I think <laughs> for me, when I say girly, I want to do more like, like, oh. <laughs> like, oh. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how it must feel to be like a, a idol, bro. Especially a K-pop idol, you know. I'm the producer, songwriter. I've written and produced every single song that come out so far. It's been about four years now. Our initial approach was more like single, smash, single, hit. Now we feel like we need to tell more of our personal story. I see, I actually I actually agree with this because of the tracks I did react to so far, it was all like viral videos, like everything was viral, I don't think it was part of albums necessarily, like everything was a, you know, one go, one go, and that is saying that you want the album, bro, if Blackpink has an album coming, oh, that would be crazy. And I know the fans are mad, like, we want more and more and more. We do have a lot in here, but we're very particular with what we put out. <laughs> you got some leather jackets going on over there. Oh, pa. Stop acting like I overdressed today, okay? <laughs> I Yo, it must be dope to be their producer, bro. Like, you meet these girls every single time you work with them. That would be so fun, bro. But... Always dress like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So I have the Lady Gaga featuring Blackpink that's about to come out. Oh, oh. so candy. Yay, yay. Yes, we, I haven't heard we this worked yet. hard before New Year's for this. <laughs> Yo, this, uh, this better not be a big spoiler. huge and they're so successful i don't think any of us even expected to yo i want to react to that track it sounds like a vibe eh? this, sometimes it gets to me like oh my god how do we live up to this hype true Yeah. This is a vibe, eh? Sour candy. Sour candy. <laughs> take a bite, take a bite. Fire on the outside. Yeah, Rosie got over you. Tashi do come up for some parts. Certain parts. Every group has their own different cultural background that makes them who they are. <laughs> But the combination, that's what makes Blackpink unique and Bags. stand out. Rosie, wanna go in first for the intro? Let me know because Rosie is like the most popular Let me know because Rosie, I'm so confused with her. Like, what's her, her main, her home language, her mother tongue, you know? Because she speaks Korean. I know, I know they all speak a lot of languages, but like, Rosie was, was born in New Zealand and stuff, so... I don't know if, if, if English is a main language or Korean because the Korean is like amazing as well. Oh, can't get you out of my head. My head. Rosie, a Korean girl that was raised in Australia. And she stays here till like 6 o'clock a.m. just in the studio. Sometimes I'm like, wow, you're still here? Can't get you out of my head. I'm steady one second Ooh, you already killed that one. Oh. Jisoo, straight up Korean girl that grew up in Korea. She's the unni of the group. She's the oldest. I'm ready for love, I'm ready for love. She does have that professional poker face. 
I've known Jisoo for let's say a good six years. Seen her cry. Dude, this producer is a vibe, bro. This producer looks like a, a really cool dude. Once. She's super smart. But a lot of people might think she's book smart, but I would say she's street smart. Ready for love, ready for love. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Oh, Lisa from Thailand. Yes. She's always got that cool, calm. It's gonna be okay, we're all good. So. Ah, that's a vibe. I'm ready for love, I'm ready for love. But when it comes to certain moments, you know, when the music starts, when it's crunch time, she has this executioner killer instinct. I can, I can tell, bro, just by her dances on her own, you can tell she's got like this executioner killer instinct, like he's saying, bro. Jenny. Jenny, born in Korea, but moved to New Zealand to study, right? She's super clear. Her opinions, her emotions, she's a perfectionist. All those different cultures in one pot. It's just different how they walk, how they talk, and how they dress. Yeah. And the perfect balance, how they complement each other. It's fascinating. We're just Korean people trying to do music. So if Korean people make music, it's K-pop. I don't even get it. Like. Yeah, to be fair, I, I'm actually agreeing with this point right here. Like, can you even call it K-pop at this point? It's Korean pop. So it's the only thing is language. Yeah, it's only in Korean, you feel me? Why don't they do that for every country? What is K-pop? K-pop. K-pop is taking the U.S. by storm. K-pop has become a worldwide cultural phenomenon. The genre uh. has been around for at least two decades. Bombaya, this trick is fire. A few major music agencies began making these polished groups of singers, rappers, and dancers. And one of the heavyweight companies in this industry is YG Entertainment. Responsible for the insanely viral Gangnam Style. Oh, YG Entertainment also made Gangnam Style. Bro, I didn't even know this, eh? Style. Hopan. Hopan Gangnam Style. The industry brings in billions of dollars a year. Grooming these singers is an industry all in itself. Trainees can star as young as 11 years old. They're raised together, they train together. Perfecting every pitch, Four, mastering five, every six. move. Stakes are high. Some make... I think that's why K-pop groups are so successful, because look how young they start, and they're together the whole time, and they, I think their work rate... I think the work rate is out of the sky, like, I don't think there are other artists, okay, there are probably artists that work as hard as them, of course, but I mean, like, in general, the whole, if you take it as a whole, the average of the work rate in K-pop is way, way more, bro. Their debut after just a few months training. For others, it could be up to a decade. Many never make it to debut at all. Yeah, that's true. Only a few make it. <laughs> Preparing for a new album, that's definitely fun because it's like trying to come up with something new, but fittings like this, it is one of the biggest like creative parts that we do. Oh! <laughs> Look at them all bag you mother. It takes a long time. Look at them all hyping each other up. That's girls for you, bro. She pulls off anything. That's because of her body, bro. I don't think there's any like boundaries within that. Like we don't go, this is Korean and this is Western, this is Asian. I think fashion is really just international and the that's more a good that there opinion. aren't any boundaries, I think that's when you can get creative. 
And since we do crazy, crazy choreography on the stage, it all has to be really like engineered, yeah. basically. Make sure nothing flops out anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Bumbaya, yeah, yeah. 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 Bumbaya, yeah, it's so hard to imagine being an idol, like because we don't understand how it how it feels, you know. Only they know how it feels. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 우리한테는 어쨌든 미국이라는 낯선 곳에 처음 가서 무대를 서는 거여서 이게 딱 이런 걸 상상하고 늘 연습하거나 뭐 This is what we wanted. 아, This is it. This is it. I always avoid interviews or any questions about me, because I would rather not talk about myself. But solo. La 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 la. I just check was fire. Used to be your girl, now I'm used to being the girl. You're sitting on your feelings and sitting, sitting on, on my throne. I ain't got no time for the troubles, troubles in your in eyes. eyes. This time I'm only looking at me, myself, and I. Oh, they have to stretch, obviously. <laughs> Pilates instructor, what's up? Pilates, Pilates, Pilates instructor. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's probably like a dancer, stretcher. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. TV에서 보면 아 우리 제니 스타였구나 이런 느낌. 근데 실제로 보면 굉장히 소탈하고. She's my friend, one of few that I have. Oh, Tony. And that is I'm always aching, like after tours and stuff. I feel like out of all the members, I'm always sick. <laughs> you know, some days, just like every other human being, you feel extra happy, and some other days you you're. Down. Feeling down. Yeah, we all know Singing, that feeling. Singing, dancing, and rapping. I always enjoy it all the time, but we always have to be on stage looking perfect and performing the same thing. It's like working out for two hours every day. Never gets easy. It gets harder, actually, because you age. <laughs> Yo, she's flexible, bro. Ow. What? Ow. 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 <laughs> I was born in Korea. It's just me and my mom. I'm the only child. I was raised in Seoul until I was 10. I went to Australia and New Zealand to travel with my mom. And by the time we got to New Zealand, it was so nice and peaceful. She asked me, how do you feel about living here? And I said, yeah, I would, I would like that. <laughs> That's cool. So from 10 to 15, I was in New Zealand by myself. I never really got to spend so much time in the house with my mom. Until recently. I did a homestay. I got to just run around, learn so many things. Do you know what's crazy for me? They recorded them as children, obviously like that's footage, everyone has like a recording of them as a child, but like now she's a star, now it's a, like nostalgic to look back at it, I think. Yeah. 
they have classes in school to go out, go camping, go learn instruments if you want to art. Everything was up to you. Like even if you're 10, you still got to make your own decisions. That was very important for me to have at a young age. That built me as who I am right now. I am super shy. I was one of those people where I can't even order something on the phone. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I also hate ordering stuff. If I have to call the people now, nah, bro, I'll just use the app rather than call. It's so awkward for me. I don't know. I'm in the same boat as her for real. <laughs> Took me a while to get this far. When I turned 15, I was deciding whether I should move to America. And I went there, I checked school out, everything was kind of decided, like 80%. And I came back to New Zealand to pack my stuff up. And that's when I realized I don't want to go to America and do another study there by myself. I actually want to become a singer. Like, I don't know where it came from. Best decision of a life, huh? As soon as I came back, I did an audition and luckily I got in right away. I was still like, wow, these people are so into it. Like they know what they're doing. I was like, let's catch up. That's all I had in mind. Oh, you fall. Really long ago. It's so cool how they're also watching the documentary. <laughs> It's sad to say, the very first group of people that trained with me, none of them are here with me right now. Aww. And as soon as Lisa came in, that's when I thought, This is because she's so talented. <laughs> Lisa on her own. Now, I don't know, should I get into Lisa in this part? I might have to cut it off. I don't know, should I do Lisa? Nah, let's make it a part two, man. That's been part one of uh, Light Up The Sky from Blackpink. We are Jenny's part. Next part, we're going to have Lisa. So stay tuned, guys. Let me know if I should keep the subtitles. I think I like the subtitles. It just helps me out a lot. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button so I can check out the second part. Let me know. But anyways, as well, if you want to see my future actions, it's all for free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really helps me out. That's been your boy, Blackpink Light Up The Sky, part one. See you guys soon. I'm out. Safe.